Good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson. Time. Happy Friday. Do you remember when you first heard about the Chinese government's one child policy? It sounded so foreign, so crazy, so grotesque. Here, the Communist Party was deciding how many children people were allowed to have. There was state monitoring of pregnancy, there was forced sterilization, there was infanticide at scale. To the Western mind, the whole thing was repugnant and alien. But maybe the most un-American thing about the Chinese one-child policy was the policy itself. The idea that government could insert itself into the most intimate details of your private life struck most Americans at a gut level as incomprehensible. The whole point of America was to avoid plans like that. The whole point of America was personal freedom. That's why the country was founded. What you do in private, on your own time, with your own money, within the boundaries of the law, was your own business and nobody else's business. It was a foundational point. And on that question, there appeared to be, thank God, bipartisan agreement. Conservatives believed in the Bill of Rights. Liberals believed in personal choice. My body, my choice, they said. Government out of our personal lives. They said that for decades. Now we know they didn't mean it. Turns out that liberals were very eager to intrude as deeply as possible into people's personal lives just as long as they controlled the government. Once they were in charge, they set about doing this with no limits and no acknowledgement of the existence of personal liberty. This has been going on for a few years, but it became very obvious the moment that Joe Biden was inaugurated president, which as it happened, was two years ago today. Now that day, January 20th, 2021, hours after the ceremony, the White House issued a fact sheet explaining how Joe Biden planned to, quote, deliver immediate relief for families across America that are struggling. That seems like a pretty good idea. And you expected, of course, a list of maybe economic developments or fixing the roads or a plan to fight inflation or stop the fentanyl epidemic. But no, that's not what you got. At the very top of that list was a directive on what you were supposed to wear the Biden administration declared a, quote, 100-day masking challenge to all Americans, and they informed you that it was your, quote, patriotic duty to cover your face. Almost nobody said anything about this, but it was a sea change in American politics. Just 15 years before, politicians in both parties had publicly denounced the burqa as a symbol of oppression. If you couldn't show your face in public, you could not be free. That's what they said, and of course they were right. It's true. Now you had one party demanding tissue paper burkas for the entire population and the other party, for the most part, staying silent as they did it. That was a big deal. And in retrospect, Republican acquiescence to mask mandates was a major mistake. If they can tell you what to wear, they can probably tell you what to inject into your body. And if they can do that, there's really nothing they can't do. They can control every aspect of your life, no matter how intimate. And of course, now they do, because they want to. As you've probably read by now, the Consumer Product Safety Commission has suggested the government will soon ban gas stoves. Now, gas stoves have been a staple of American kitchens for more than a century. You may have one in your home. You may have grown up with one. But apparently, and nobody knew this until like a week ago, these stoves are a hidden hazard that we must eliminate. So why do we suddenly know that gas stoves are a hidden hazard? Why did no one tell us this before? Where did this information come from? Well, as the Washington Free Beacon has reported, government regulators are citing a study from a group called the Rocky Mountain Institute. And the Rocky Mountain Institute recently partied, partnered with the Chinese to implement a, quote, economy-wide transformation of America. Okay. So the Chinese government, by proxy, gets to decide how you cook your dinner, what appliances you're allowed to have in your own kitchen. That's right, declared the Washington Post, and it's a good thing. The hidden hazards of these appliances, the Post declared, with obvious relief, is finally getting attention. Finally! We've been waiting for it! <laughs> you can imagine the celebration in the Post newsroom where they've been fretting about gas stoves for decades, and finally the science has caught up to their concerns. Well, unfortunately for the Washington Post newsroom and the Biden administration and most of all the Chinese government, not everyone in America was immediately on board with the idea of getting rid of your gas stoves because they're a hidden hazard. Many people kind of like gas stoves. 
and they were pretty annoyed, thank heaven, that someone might want to take them away on the basis of one piece of garbage science pushed by the Chinese government. So the whole ban your gas stoves thing became a PR disaster for the Democratic Party, and they responded accordingly. No, they didn't pull back and say, oh, we're not going to take away your gas stoves. No. They pretended it never happened. In fact... Thank <laughs> you.